I'm really excited. In this year's version of Notebook 2015, we brought in the ability to add concept mapping right inside of Notebook software. Now, concept mapping helps organize knowledge, and the research has shown that what it does is it actually makes it easier for students to apply this new knowledge in new contexts, and more importantly, it helps retain that knowledge for longer periods of time. Let me show you how it looks. I'm going to open Notebook software. On the top toolbar, you're going to notice the concept mapping icon. Now, adding new nodes is as simple as hitting the plus sign, or simply writing a word and drawing a circle around it. Now, managing connections between nodes is easy by drawing a line to add a connection or simply erasing the line to remove it. Let's look at an example in a real classroom context. Let's say I just finished a lesson on recycling and I want to capture those ideas in a concept map. Now, because my class has Wi-Fi and students have different devices, I'm going to use a powerful feature of notebook software, it's called XC Collaboration, to capture those students' ideas and bring them in so we can create a nice, rich concept map. Content is starting to be sent to the front of room, and I'm going to invite two students to come to the front and start organizing and creating the concept map with this rich content. Another idea would be to have students take images of their classroom and add it to that concept map. Now this can be done using the Notebook Maestro add-on. If you haven't seen the video, click on the link below. And if you want to learn more about the concept mapping tool and all the other amazing new features of Notebook 15, download a free 90-day trial.